Equine rectal palpation is a vital part of any equine health examination. By palpating the horse's rectum, veterinarians can assess the horse's internal organs and check for abnormalities. Additionally, rectal palpation can help identify specific health conditions, such as colic, and can help determine if a horse is pregnant. Rectal palpation is a relatively quick and easy procedure that can provide valuable information about a horse's health. Oh, that's actually a good thing I brought the camera. Getting ready for the rectal exam. Five gallons of lube. How those ears are forward. She's like, uh-oh. Do you want to try it out here or do you want to put it in the stall? A big plastic bag. Yeah, she is kind of subdued, isn't she? Yeah, this morning Twist was bucking and jumping and running around in the weather because it was so nice the way she usually does. Yeah. She's just standing there with her head down. She's like, what? She's like, it's for the other end to come. She's starting to I'm glad I'm not Coco right now. <laughs> The joy of being a veterinarian. Is she compacted? <coughs> no, not from what Kit tells me. That's pretty normal manure for this girl. Yeah, she, it's always well formed and often each piece lands individually when it comes out. Well, this fits with that description. Mm. So that was just waiting for her to go, but that gets it out of the way so then I can actually do what we call palpation, feel around and see what's going on in there. Just like if you go to the doctor with a bellyache, you lie on the table and the doctor feels all the organs through your body wall. Her body wall is too thick to do that. Oh. So you have to go so from the inside. You go from the inside. So um, luckily for Coco, okay. Melinda has one of the smaller, thinner arms. Yeah. Over there. That's yeah. I didn't Dexter, think you want some too? You want the special treatment, Dexter? Yes. What are you doing to my buddy? You don't have to worry about shoving feces back up through. That's why we take them out of the way gently. It's an exam that has to be done gently, and that's why we gave her a little sedation because she's small, so it's important she stands still. So and she doesn't move next to her or anything. And she doesn't, <laughs> she doesn't kick you. Yeah, she's a little too groggy for that. Yeah. She still could if she was really motivated, but luckily it doesn't seem like she's the type. Somebody's doing their job keeping Coco calm. <laughs> Dexter wants to help. Well, everything feels pretty nice and normal in here. Um, you know, even on a little girl like her, her, we can't feel everything, so it's not to say she couldn't have an impaction higher up. Mm -hmm. We'll pass a tube and give her some laxatives and see if we don't make her feel a little better that way. Okay. <laughs> Yes, you too could be a veterinarian. 